news on the go. Binghamton's Mayor Rich David has tested positive for COVID-19. He was just in Syracuse yesterday, standing alongside Syracuse Mayor Ben Walsh and other New York mayors at an event calling for more federal funding. In a tweet this morning, Mayor David says his test came back positive late Wednesday, says he's feeling fine and resting at home. As a precaution, Mayor Walsh is quarantining. He says, though, his contact was minimal and health precautions were followed. Ithaca's Mayor Savante Myrick, who was also there, is also precautionary quarantining right now. Congressman Anthony Brindisi has a nine-point lead over Claudia Tenney in a new poll. Just a few weeks until Election Day now, a Siena College Syracuse.com poll released just this morning shows the Democrat from Utica leads the New Hartford Republican 48 to 39 percent among likely voters in the eight-county 22nd district. There is a five percent margin of error in that poll. Another reminder, tomorrow is the last day you can register to vote in November. If you're not registered already, you can get an application, but it's got to be postmarked. If you put it in the mail, no later than tomorrow, October 9th. You can also go online or in person to your local county board of elections. Well, the second debate between President Trump and Democratic nominee Joe, Joe Biden will be virtual. That was the decision this released this morning by the debate commission. Immediately, though, President Trump said in an interview with Fox News that he will not participate in a virtual debate and he'll hold a rally the instead. Is, the, the Department is. of Public Safety at SU now stepping up patrols in university neighborhoods off campus after that COVID cluster has been traced to an off-campus party. University also says that any leaseholder of a home off campus or any student who takes part in any off campus party will be referred directly to the Office of Student Rights and Responsibilities for possible discipline. At last report, SU has 45 new positive cases of the coronavirus. Lindsay? Well, we do have a nice afternoon view on our Drivers Village Skynet 9 camera over downtown Syracuse. We have some sunshine, we have some clouds. It is chilly though. Our temperatures are only in the 40s and 50s, and the 50s is where we'll stay. We ha still have that breeze out of the west northwest, about 16 miles per hour. That'll continue for this afternoon as well. This afternoon, mainly dry. Once we get closer to sunset, we have a disturbance passing through. That'll bring a couple of light passing showers, and temperatures will fall closer to 50 degrees eventually into the the 30s and 40s for a low temperature tonight. The wind will go calm. We could be dealing with some patchy fog to wake up to tomorrow morning. Other than that, your Friday features some sunshine and slightly warming temperatures too. We have highs back in the low to mid 60s for your Friday. Saturday is even warmer. We have temperatures in the 70s. The whole day is in a washout, but we do have a few afternoon and evening showers as well. And then cooler weather comes back for Sunday and Monday. And then we keep our eye on what Delta does to see if it brings us any uh, rain showers for Monday and Tuesday. Nice variety of October weather. A little bit. That's what fall's about. Thank you, Lindsay. 